Now let's have a look at the processes of risk management. There are many sub-processes involved in risk management. First, let's have a look at plan risk management process. As the name sounds all about planning. Process of identifying, defining how to conduct risk management activities for a project. Major output of this process is risk management plan. Now remember, now this is the planning activity where you're gonna plan out your approach and the tools of managing risks. It's very crucial to do this right because based on this, you will execute the risk management plan. So if you don't have the right plan, your actions for managing risk might not allow you to be successful as a project manager or a project team. Your risk management plan includes the methodology, approaches, tools, and data sources that will be used to perform risk management on the project. It also includes roles and responsibilities. Who will do what regarding risk management activities in a project? It's important to know. Some teams overlook this area and get into the problems later stage, stage of the project. So ensure you define your roles and responsibilities while you plan your risk management process. It also includes budgeting, cost of risk management activity, because at the end of the day, what you do in order to manage the risks should be approved by the stakeholders and the clients. Also, contingency and management reserves will have to be decided during your risk management planning. Contingency and the management reserves will allow you to be successful even if you exceed the basic the budgets. It also includes timing, when and how often the risk management processes will be performed during project. It's important, isn't it? Risk management plan also includes risk categories, provides a means for grouping potential causes of risk. PMOs or companies should have standard list of risk categories that can be applied in all projects to help identify risks. Risk categories. Now let's have a look at the categories of the possible risks. It's important to know because if you don't know this, your risk planning, identification of the risks might not be appropriate. So there are many types. Let's have a look at them. First, external risks. As the name suggests, these are external to the project that you're working on, the organization that you are being part of. For example, regulatory, environmental, government, market shifts. They all can create external risks. Internal risks. These are the risks within your organization or the project context. Time, cost, or scope changes, inexperienced staff, poor planning, issues with the people, etc. They can vary based on your project and the organization. Good news is that you have control on these internal costs because they are internal to you you can agree the best possible approach and actions to come up with the, the most appropriate response for your risks. The third type of the risk is technical, technical risks. These are the changes in technology. Anything to do with technology, which becomes an issue, an issue that can come up in future is technical risk. The fourth type is unforeseeable risks. Only a small portion, about 
ten percent generally of the risks are unforeseeable those are the risks very difficult to forecast whatever the planning you do how deeper you try to go and analyze the risks you won't identify them these are known as unforeseeable risks risks caused by or generated by the customer so these are different types and ways of categorizing the risks the risks caused by or generated by lack of project management effort lack of knowledge of project management the customers customers suppliers resistance to change and cultural differences you may categorize risks according to these parameters as well risks by source now this is another way to categorize the risks so you have schedule risks you have cost risks you have quality risks so obviously the meaning is clear but let's have a bit of a deep dive to understand what exactly these three terms mean schedule risks example if john cannot finish on time two engineers will start to wait him to finish you can also say although the client wants the results in two weeks due to the the challenges we have faced the issues with the resourcing we will not be able to complete the deliverable on time so this is a schedule risk cost related risks let's have a look at an example again if we buy the steel before spring we will have 25% of cost advantage if you have a situation like that that's a cost risk it is a risk that is associated with the budget costing quality risks these are the risks associated with the quality of the project or the product that you work in planning training may decrease the number of defects in end product is a risk also another example would be let's assume you have run out of the qa resources the only resource qa resources quality resource available for your team is occupied by another project so you don't have anyone to do the quality assurance for your project so this is a quality risks So these are other ways of categorizing the risks by source scope analysis document is not clear enough to develop soft depth this is a concern with regard to the scope so it is known as a scope risk resources if you cannot find an engineer who knows software architecture project will get delayed also another example let's say you are doing a construction and you are not able to find the right number of mason passes that is a resource risk customer satisfaction if you cannot provide a match output this will cause customer dissatisfaction during acceptance test so you during the planning you may identify this situation as a customer satisfaction related risk because you're considering the source of the risk your risk management plan also includes the definitions of risk probability and impact different levels of risk probability and impact can be defined that are specific to the project example earthquake risk can have a higher impact for a construction project compared to a software project hope this is clear let's move on your risk management plan also includes stakeholder tolerances 
reporting formats. How the outcomes of the risk management process will be documented and communicated. Example, risk register or risk reports. Or will you document risk assumptions, issues and dependencies in one document called rate analysis? So all accepted. But you got to agree and plan the reporting formats. Tracking. How risk activities will be recorded and how risk management processes will be audited is also an important aspect that you have to plan. 